good morning everybody welcome back to the channel thank you for watching so today we're going to be doing the transmission pan and we're going to be putting ac back in the in the in the ga but first y'all i gotta move this thing and then move this out the way back this up because it's trash day also so i can't park on the side of the road right now oh snap dang psych me so i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a cold start on this See, I got my holding cup, HSV, regular. If you don't know, um, I blew my compressor when I was racing that uh, that Charger, that Challenger, a while back when I got that ticket. Um, that's when I blew the compressor. So today we are going to Gus's, and Gus is gonna install the uh, compressor, and I'm gonna be doing the transmission stuff, uh, the transmission pan. And then I'll make a separate video I'll make a separate video on just monitoring it and seeing if it actually do what it's supposed to do. So whenever I was doing some pulls a while back when I got it retuned, um, the trans the my tuner was like, hey, you may want to change out the fluid in your transmission or just, he said, go, no, matter of fact, he said, just go ahead and put a transmission, a Camaro transmission pan on it. He said, cause it, it's a lot deeper, you put a lot more fluid and it'll uh, keep it cooler. So. That's what we're gonna try out and then i'll make a separate video like i said showing if it actually worked because uh it was getting like the more pulls i did the hotter the transmission was getting so and you don't want the transmission to get too hot well not hot at all like this right here the transmission gets hot so it needs a trans cooler but let's go ahead and uh put my little drink up in the ga i gotta get the uh transmission stuff and we're gonna be heading out All right, oh man, I spilled some stuff. I gotta clean that up. Put that in there. Guess we can go ahead and put that. And then so this is the gasket, the transmission filter, and the actual transmission, uh, the pan. And that's pretty much all you need. And then obviously you're gonna need more fluid. All right, y'all, so it is the day <laughs> all right y'all so it's the day after the cruise from houston and i was tired as hell because i stayed up to almost three four o'clock the night before trying to fix something and then i got back we didn't go to bed till like 12 um last night and i actually because i was edit trying to edit a video for monday not trying to, but I did edit a video for Monday. And yeah, so I go to bed like 12, one o'clock, uploading and, you know, changing things and start doing all that good stuff. Um, so I was tired as hell and I kind of slept in a little bit. I was supposed to be there probably earlier than. I ain't gonna lie, my car pops. I ain't gonna lie, my car pops like crazy. But like, I don't know if everybody else GA does it, but if you give it like, you just tap on the gas a little bit. It'll start popping. Hey, right, y'all. So I had one of those. Uh, I had one of those. Uh, twenty dollars. Well, you. I think you get like for you, every five points, you get twenty bucks off. You can add 20 bucks off to your total. So um, the total had came out to like 60 something, 69, I think. And I had one of those $20 things. So it came out to like 49, but this is the transmission fluid that you're gonna need. Um, I got eight of them. So I got eight of them. So if we don't use all of them, I just come return one. But that's what I got. Y'all know that the, um, the, the uh, if y'all don't know, well, the GA doesn't have a transmission um, dipstick. But I was talking to, um, his name is on Pack Speed on, on um, I was talking to Pack Speed on Instagram and he had, he just did the same swap. 
and I think he said he used seven and a half or 7.4 or something like that. So almost eight in total. So hopefully, I mean, I think I bought, I think I bought way more than enough. Yeah, just don't get it on your hands. All right. So should I just crack it a little bit first? The, the thing drop. Oh, okay. Undo it, then it drop. Ooh, that is hot. Yeah. Right. Appreciate it. It's kind of dirty, too. Yeah. It's pretty dark. Well, I've been having a car for like three years. I ain't never changed it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so. I think about three years now. Yeah, right, yeah, so this is pretty simple. Pull the, pull the plug. You got a couple bolts going all the way around. You take those bolts off. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope y'all can see. But that's pretty much it. And then you put the new pan. I'm going to show y'all like comparing this pan to the Camaro pan. I got all of them. Let me, sip on. Let me make sure. All of them. There's just one on this side. All right. Let me go ahead and take them out. And with the filter, does it just drop down or yeah. you just pull it? Yeah. Uh, let me get some glove. Yeah, just grab it, wiggle it, pull down. It's got a, a spout. The fluid might come out of it. Though. Should I pull hard on it? Yeah. It's coming. Ooh. That mode's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Pull the what you call it. So it's all right. Ooh. I should have got that further. Right, so I'm gonna show y'all this one. Uh, the comparison between the two. This is the Camaro transmission pan right here. Let me put this over here on the ground and then this is the stock one on the on the G8 so, already you can tell the difference, the difference between the two all right putting the new filter in Is it supposed to go in there further or nah? Yeah. What's up? What? Right. Okay. Count them. <laughs> Thank you. 
unfortunate just to like this. To where it's not to the, it won't yeah. drain out. Uh, yeah, that's a big difference right there. On what came out. This looks like that damn some wine or something. Don't smell like it does. Alright y'all, so since this is too small, we're just gonna pump it through here, but I didn't realize that this drain plug was so small. So we're gonna go over the top. And I just filled up a gallon. Y'all saw I did the trip. Went ahead and did transmission pad. The y'all saw I went ahead and did the transmission pad. So the only thing I worry about is that the tra the transmission pad sits below the exhaust. So I'm worried about it scraping, but it should be good. Because uh, I am low. If you got a lower car, you know when you're going down a ramp or you don't ever just go straight. You go at an angle. So that's what I do when I'm going up and down, like something that's steep. Um, there was one problem that we found with the, uh, so my fan, I'll show y'all once I make it to the house, the fan on the right side is broken. It still works and it's not, the car's not overheating or anything, but um, the fan is broken and it's make, causing it to vibrate. Ooh, I got air, but it's causing the car to vibrate a little bit. So that's gonna be next. I gotta find a fan for my uh, for the G8, and I need to fix that ASAP. Cause like right now, you can hear it like vibe. It's causing the car to vibrate. It sounds nasty. But I already knew uh, fans had looked at it one time, and he had said the fan was broken, the blade on the fan. So I need to go ahead and change out. Um, and when I was looking, the crazy part about it, when I was looking, the it was the just the fan itself was like 60 bucks and then for a hundred dollars you get the whole thing the whole assembly that fan is bad if i try to catch it today i'm gonna put it in a video if i don't but everything seems to be good besides that fan the fan is next change that fan out and then we should be good after that after i change the fan out but um, that'd be it for this video y'all i'll see y'all in the next video thank you for watching and i hope you have a, have a good day